I absolutely loved it when I read it. I had no interest in YouTube. Maybe it sparked my interest. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about. Hey, this is Kyla Denanyo. So today we're talking about the book, Life's Too Short, because life is too short. Record that YouTube video while you're thinking about it. Do it, do it, do it. This book was written by Abby Jimenez. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is romantic comedy, okay? So my favorite character in the story is Brent. Brent is Vanessa's half-brother. And so the reason why he is my favorite character is because Vanessa has this really tragic story, but she is upbeat, she's quirky, she's pushing along, she's making the best of it, right? So you get to see her, you get to see this baby that she's taking care of, and you just fall in love, and you're like, oh, I'm rooting for you, Vanessa. But then Brent comes around, and so you really get to see this different side of Vanessa. You get to see that, oh, she's taking care of the family. Oh, she has invested in his little harebrained schemes before. Oh, she is paying for the house the dad is living in that the sister Annabelle was living in and Brent lives across the street. So it's like he's a part of the family, but he's so on the outside that she gets to have a different relationship with him. Brent is a supporting character. Like Vanessa and Aiden are cute and then you have Grace, but I think you would be missing something if you didn't have Brent, if you didn't have his little comments, his little sarcasm, his little cheekiness. And so that's why Brent is so important to the story because he really helps us to see more about Vanessa, right? It's one of those characters that if they weren't in the book, you would be missing that. Actually, YouTube is a really big character in the book too, but Brett was my absolute favorite, okay? And by far, and this is a spoiler, I love the fact that Brett comes around and at the end of the story, Vanessa can be proud of him. Because when you have siblings and you tend to be the one who's always asking for money or needing something or wanting to be bailed out, when something works out for you and you can be proud of yourself and your family can be proud of you, oh, that's the best, <laughs> okay? That is the absolute best. Another little spoiler is that Vanessa is a YouTuber. She makes a video, it ends up going viral, and so then she keeps recording, and you get to see her different relationships that she has with people and how YouTube plays a part of it. And so, life's too short. I mean, come on, I had to review the book. She's a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber. It just made sense, right? So, would I reread this book? Yes. In fact, this is my second time reading it, right? So I just started doing book reviews in March 2022. And I sat there and said, what books have you read that you love that you need to talk to people about? And this was one of them because I loved it. I absolutely loved it when I read it. I had no interest in YouTube. Maybe it sparked my interest. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you, maybe my journal would know, but this book was reread for this book review and I absolutely love it and will miss it. It's like having one of those friends, like you finish the book and you're like, what's Vanessa doing today, right? And so yeah, I definitely would reread this book because this was a reread to do the book review. So absolutely, very, very good book. So I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. <laughs> Bye.